Hi guys, I'm Seema. Today we'll study about mixture and allegation, a very interesting yet confusing topic from quant section. I'll be making many more videos on topics related to quant, reasoning and English for phase 1 of RBI and SEBI. If you like my video then do subscribe to our channel and for regular updates hit the bell icon. Before getting started with questions, let us revise some basic concepts. Allegation is the rule that enables us to find the ratio in which two or more ingredients at a given price must be mixed to produce a mixture of desired price. And for solving questions related to mixture and allegation, we have this formula where cost price of cheaper ingredients, cost price of costlier ingredients or dearer ingredients. When we say dearer, it means the costly one. Here in the center, mean price is written and then this. Let's say this is D. So this is D minus M and here the CP of cheaper ingredient be C then M minus C and this D minus M will be the amount of the cheaper ingredients needed to get the required mean and this M minus C will be the amount of dearer ingredients required to reach the mean. Don't confuse it with this. We are writing this this side. So this D minus M is the amount required of cheaper ingredients and this M minus C is the amount required of the costlier ingredient. And here is the formula as we have written it in the ratio format. Quantity of cheaper ingredient D minus M this and quantity of costly ingredient M minus C. Let us understand this concept of allegation with an example. This is type 1 grapes. This is type 2 grapes. Type 1 grapes is 150 rupees per kg. Type 2 grapes is 300 rupees per kg and, and the mean or desired price per kg is 200 rupees per kg. We have to find the amount of type 1 and type 2 so that we could sell that whole mixture at the price 200 rupees per kg. So here we would find D minus M which is dearer minus mean 300 minus 200 which is 100 and here M minus C this is the cheaper ingredient this is mean and M minus C equals to 200 minus 150 which is 50. So we can see this ratio of type 1 by type 2 is 100 by 50. 2 is to 1. Don't get confused so as to which is the ratio of which. Here you are writing D minus M below this. So this is the ratio of type 1. When we find the difference between the mean and type 2, the ratio which comes out it is the ratio of type 1 and similarly vice versa. This M minus C is the ratio of type 2. One more important fact. Suppose a container contains X liter of a liquid and from which Y units are taken out and then replaced by water and then this process is repeated N times. After N operations, the quantity of pure liquid will be x 1 minus y by x to the power n units where x is the initial quantity y is the amount of water which is added after taking out this y amount of the liquid remember this formula moving forwards to the question question one two varieties of coffee a and b are mixed in the ratio 3 is to 2 the mixture is sold at 100 rupees per kg at 100 percent profit if the variety a costs 10 per kg more than the variety b then what is the cost of variety B per kg? Variety A and variety B and as given in the question they are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 or we can say the quantity of variety A is 3 by 5 in the mixture and quantity of variety B is 2 by 5 in the mixture and as the question says the mixture is sold at 100 rupees at 100 percent profit so 2 times the CP is equals to 100 rupees per kg. So we say CP is 50 rupees. Let the CP of variety A be X and CP of variety B be X minus 10. Now according to the question 3 by 5 X plus 2 by 5 X minus 10 is equals to 50. This is the mixture of both the coffees which is sold at 50 rupees per kg. So solving this equation we get 5 X minus 20 is equals to 250 x is equals to 270 upon 5 which is 54 rupees and cp of variety b is x minus 10 which is 44 rupees per kg the answer is c 44 rupees per kg question 2 12500 students appeared in an exam 50 percent of the boys and 70 percent of the girls cleared the examination if the total percentage of students clearing the exam was 60 percent then how many girls appeared in the exam Okay, again, this is a very easy question which could be solved by using the allegation method. As per the question, 50% of boys and 70% of girls cleared the exam and the 
overall or mean is 60%. That is 60% of all the students cleared the examination. So by using the allegation method, we will find the ratio of guys and girls clearing the exam. So here it is 10. Here also it is 10. So the ratio comes out to be 1 is to 1. So for 60% people who actually pass the examination, the number of girls appearing in the exam should be equal to the number of guys appearing in the exam. So the number of girls who appeared in the exam is total number of people divided by 2 which is 6250 girls. So in total 6250 girls appeared for the exam. Option D. Question 3. A thief steals 4 gallons of a liquid soap in a train compartment bathroom from a container that is full of liquid soaps. He then fills it with water to avoid detection. Unable to resist the temptation, he steals 4 more gallons again and fills it with water. When the liquid soap is checked at the station, it is found that the ratio of soap to water Water is now 36 is to 13. What was the initial amount of liquid soap in the container? As we have discussed earlier, in such cases, the formula used is x1 minus y by x to the power n to find the remaining amount of pure liquid in the mixture and here x is the initial amount of liquid like pure liquid present in the mixture let the amount of liquid soap initially be x as per the question the final amount is 36 by 49 x you can see it from here from the ratio given in the question and now putting these values in the equation we get 36 x by 49 is equals to x 1 minus y is 4 as we have been given that the thief steals 4 gallons of liquid soap by by x n is 2 because the process is repeated twice so here on simplifying 36 by 49 is equals to 1 minus 4 by x square on taking the root over both the sides we get 6 by 7 is equals to 1 minus 4 by x x is equals to 28 gallons although this question is very simple but you need to know this formula to solve the question and so as to save your time as well question 4 two vessels contain wine and water in the ratio 5 is to 2 and 4 is to 1. Find the quantity of mixture from the first vessel to be mixed with 20 liter of mixture from the second vessel so that the mixture formed has wine and water in the ratio 3 is to 1. Let us write down the information we are given in the question. For container 1, the ratio is 5 is to 2. For container 2, the ratio is 4 is to 1. Here we can say in container 1, the amount of wine present is 5 by 7 of the whole liquid and in container 2, the amount of wine present is 4 by 5 of the whole liquid. Now we will use the allegation method. Container 1, container 2. Here we know 5 by 7 is 4 by 5 and the mean is 3 by 4. This is the desired concentration that we have to find out. Now using the allegation method, the ratio for the first container comes out to be 1 by 20 and for the second container it comes out to be 1 by 20. 28. Quantity of wine in first vessel 1 by 20 divided by quantity of wine in second vessel 1 by 28 which comes out to be 28 by 20 7 by 5. This is the ratio of mixing required to get the concentration of 3 is to 4. As per the question the amount of liquid from second vessel is 20 liters and let the amount of liquid from first vessel be x. So we know x by 20 is equals to 7 by 5 and now solving for x we get x is equals to 28 liters. Answer is D. In such questions it is very important to know how to use the allegation. We just have to use the allegation method just for the quantity of wine not for the quantity of water. Question 5. There are three sections A, B, C in class 10th of a school. They wrote a talent search test. The average scores of A, B and C in that test were 60, 70 and 80 respectively. If the average score of students of section A and B together is 64 and that of section B and C together is 76, then find the average score of students in section A and C together. In this question, we have to use the allegation method multiple times. Let's do that for A and B. The average score of student in A is 60. In B, it is 70. And in question, it is given that together their average is 64. By using the method of allegation, we get 6 and 4. The ratio of A is to B comes out to 3 is to 2. Now, as per the question, we are going to solve it for B and C. The average score of students in B is 70 and that of C is 80. And as per the question, their mean is 76 or their average scores together is 76. Using the allegation method, here we find 4 and the difference is 6. So, B is to C is 2 is to 3. 
and the question asks about the average score of A and C together. So now we know the average score of students in A section is 60 and that in C section is 80. And just by seeing these two ratios, we can say A is to B is to C is 3 is to 2 is to 3 or A is to C is 3 is to 3 which is 1 is to 1. Here we have to find the mean and we know this ratio is 1 is to 1 which means that the mean would be equidistance from both A and C and hence we know that 70 is the required mean as the difference of mean should be equal from both C and A which could only be equal in the case of 70 if 70 is taken as a mean. So here we know or you could just find out simply as take the difference which is 20, 20 by 2 comes out to be 10. Add 10 to 60 and minus 10 from 80 which is 70. So 70 is the mean required in the case of A and C. Answer is B. Hope you found this video beneficial for your preparation and if you have any queries regarding any question do let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.